All right, so once you get your vehicle up and supported, you'll find the oil drain plug, which in my case, it's a 15 millimeter. So right now my engine is hot and I am not wanting the oil to burn me. So I'm gonna use an extension. Make sure you wear glasses when you do this because oil can splash in your eyes. Let your oil drain for a good five or 10 minutes at least until you have no more of a stream of oil dripping. You wanna have barely any drips dripping that way you know that you got uh, most of that dirty oil out. Sometimes your oil drain pan will be big enough to span across where the filter is and the drain plug. Most of the time these things are too tight to remove by hand, but it's worth giving it a try. There are a few different types of oil filter removal tools that you can buy, but if you're cheap like me, you can improvise. And you don't have to worry about messing these things up. They don't get recycled. I don't think so. If you poke a hole in them, or if anything happens, it don't matter. And then you let that drain for a few minutes. Meanwhile, as that's draining, my oil is pretty much done draining over here. You want to check out your oil plug. Looks like I'm completely missing an O-ring on here. So you want to make sure that you got a good seal on it. Sometimes it's best, people say, to buy a new plug every few oil changes. Some people do it every oil change. that in, you can tighten it down. And then we'll pull our oil filter. Don't let it splash on your face or in your eyes, because it'll hurt. All right, going with your new stuff. I was taught by my dad like 35 years ago or 30 years ago to always prime the oil filter. So we're gonna prime it. And then finally, you add your oil. This 5.3 liter engine needs six quarts.
and then you're ready for startup. You want to watch your oil pressure. It'll be at zero for the first moment, but then it better jump up after just a couple seconds. And of course, reset your oil life. Do that on the Suburban 2011 by going here until you until you get to oil. Push that right there, and then to reset it, you just push and hold the check mark. And we are at 200,173. Oil change done. And here's the difference between a new oil and the old oil. Really bad. Really dirty. And then finally, last thing you want to do is check your oil level to make sure that it's in an acceptable range. And mine is, mine's actually right there at the tip of my glove. Right there. And also, look underneath, make sure you got no drips. Because you want no drips coming from your oil. And it looks like I don't have any. So, that's it. Thanks for watching.